Welcome back. You know, I've been seeing a lot of questions online from people wondering what's the best SD card to use for the PDR, the Performance Data Recorder. Now that Performance Data Recorder comes with the 2LT and 3LT trim packages and it's super useful and can be a lot of fun. This footage here is taken with the PDR by Hennessy Performance out at Coda Raceway, Circuit of the Americas down in Texas. Now the PDR gives you a lot of good information. It gives you your RPMs here, it gives you your G-forces, your steering wheel position, also your pedal pressure for your accelerator in green and your brake pedal pressure in red, what gear you're in, your lap time, your speed, and even gives you a little course map. It's got all the maps in, all the, in the whole country there. You can also use it as a dash cam for when you're driving around in case you get in an accident. So being so useful is a lot of people are wondering what's the best SD card. So I went online, did a little research, and what I found on top of all the studies was the sand disk. It either came first or second or third in every study and for your bang for your buck study came in first every time. Now the rec recommended size for the scan disk is this one here which is 128 gigabytes. That'll give you about five hours from what I've been able to figure out at 1080p which is what this is here. So you want to do the 1080p you can choose different levels of resolution when you when you put it in your uh, PDR, but the 1080p comes out the best. The SanDisk is on sale for 23% off for $17.60. Now I give you about five hours. You can erase it. You can record over it. The PDR has got a lot of good functions. Now it does come in several different sizes: 32 gigs, 64 gigs, 250 gigs. And a 512 gig. The 512 is supposed to give you about like 20 hours, I believe. And I'm planning on doing a cross country drive when I get my C8 to bring it back home with me. So I thought I'd get the 512 gig. But then I realized the time it's going to take to get it off the disk from the PDR and onto my laptop for viewing and editing is just going to be horrendous. Okay, so I'm going to go with the 128, which is most efficient. It's the one that gets the best rating from all the surveys. And I'm probably just going to purchase four or five of them and just keep taking them out and putting them back in during my 22-hour drive. So this is the sand disk, the top-rated disk, 128 gigabytes, which is what Chevrolet recommends. It's right here. There will be a link in the description below. You can click on that link and go right to it. So I have to tell you that as a Amazon associate, anytime you purchase anything through one of my links, I will benefit from that. The prices are good as of today. Anytime you watch this video after this, this time, a week later, a month later, a year later, the prices are likely to be different than likely to change. If you've missed any of my C8 Corvette Amazon deal videos, I'll post a link to that playlist right up here for you. I hope this information is useful. Don't forget to click that link and go and make that purchase. This is Tim. Till next time. See ya.